How's it going everybody? I'm Driftwood. This is an RPG Maker MV tutorial and in this episode I'm going to show you how to um, use the Overkill plugin from Yanfly and Tigris uh, very briefly but mainly it's like a free resources video um, because the Yanfly already sort of does that. So um, let's just take a look at the, t the plugin real quick. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get the Overkill plugin and where you're going to place it is right underneath Lifesteal but uh, above the target core and any of these others. So um, you can pause the video if you're not sure where to put it. It's also in Yanfly's video, so you can see where to put it. We're going to take a look at the plugin really quickly. Oh, not the lifesteal. The overkill bonus one. Uh, I'm going to go over it very briefly, but then I'm going to show you the, uh, the resources and, and what uh, I've done with it and what you can do to your project with it. So basically this plugin lets you add extra bonuses for killing an enemy. Um, look at the help file for like more stuff you can do with it. You can have conditional drops if, depending like if you kill an enemy you only get the drop if you overkill them. And, and how you overkill them is basically up to you. So by default it's set to if you kill the enemy by doing 50% of its max HP you'll, you'll, tar you'll trigger that as an overkill and when it's overkilled you'll get uh, double experience, double gold, and double the drop rate on your items. You can adjust these numbers right here. You can also add flat bonuses right here. The only thing we're really going to change you know, in, uh, that you really need to change is the animation number because we're going to make a custom animation um, and I'll show you how to go about making that very quick, very easy and I'll give you the resources to do it and make it look cool. Um, so, um, we're going to come back into this, but let me show you what it looks like really fast in the game, um, and then, I'll sh then you'll know if you want to actually do something like that. Uh, I've gone into Audacity and recorded, like I just said, like, overkill, and then I pitch shifted it and, you know, normalized it and, and you know, messed with the audio a little bit. When we kill an enemy, you can see that it says overkill and we have, like, a little sword spinning in the background. We'll take a look at it one more time. And it works uh, on all the groups too, and if you kill a, a group, it only says it one time, but it shows it. Watch. So it only plays the animation, uh, uh, it plays the animation on each thing that was overkilled, but it'll only say overkill one time. Uh, so I like how that works. So if that's something you're interested in doing, then let me uh, show you what to do. Basically, you're going to go into your animations. Uh, in the description of this video, I'm going to include a link um, to a Google Drive file where I've rec where I've packaged the uh, the audio that I've made for it and the PNG file I made in Photoshop for it. Um, also, the, the the PNG file has more room uh, spaced out so that you can add more animations to it. But basically, take that PNG file. Let's go back into the game here. Take that PNG file. Um, go to Game, Open Folder. Extract the zip file. It'll be DG under or D, DG overkill. Um, extract that, and you're going to get a, an overkill.ogg audio file and an overkill.png uh, graphics file. So cut the um, the OGG, go into audio, and paste it into your sound effects. Okay, and then take that overkill.png, cut it, and go into IMG animations and paste it in there. So once you've done that, you're basically done with that part. You can save the game and then when you load up your database you can go to animations and you'll be able to select uh, from when you see the images you'll be able to select scroll down till you see overkill and you're gonna have these couple of uh, these extra animations these two were ones I was working on first like summon skills and stuff um, so I've just included them since they're just free stuff that you can use to like have them scroll across the screen and like summon this guy or summon a knight or whatever but basically we're only gonna be using the sword animation and this overkill animation uh, or graphic we're going to make the animation. So we're going to select this as our image. And then what we're going to do, um, I'll actually do it from the beginning so you can see. Like, you're going to select a free spot right here. Go down and select the image of Overkill. So scroll down to the O's, Overkill. Select it. You can change the hue if you want. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, ins press the Insert button. Does that work? No, that doesn't work. Okay, just right click and go to, so control N will work. Control N, so you get about 10 frames, however many frames you want actually. You can press delete to remove them. On the first frame, we're gonna select the sword. We're gonna right click and paste new, doesn't matter where, anywhere. Edit that, and we're gonna start with, um, let's start at 100. We'll go zero. We're gonna set, keep the pattern at three. We're gonna change the X and the Y to zero, the scale to 100, and the opacity to 
um, we'll just leave it at 255 and you can change whatever blend mode you want but we're gonna put that right there in the center now we're gonna go to the tenth frame we're gonna do the same thing paste it right click edit new go zero zero on the scale you're gonna scale it up to like 400 or 500 you're gonna change the opacity to like 100 and you can change the blend mode if you want to as well so now that we've got this to this we want to actually we could actually flip this on mirror and change the rotation to 180. That might make it look cool too. We'll give it like this spinning effect. But right now, nothing's really happening. You just see that first frame and that last frame. But what we're going to do is we're going to tween it. So let's go ahead and select tween. And we're going to select all the frames, all the cells, and all the data. Hit OK. Now you can see that it'll automatically scale it up and move the sword so that it rotates and actually scales in size and actually like even the the cut the blend mode and everything rotates into looks really cool now we're gonna do the same thing with overkill right click insert new edit this go to the X put it at zero the Y put it at zero scale put that at whatever hundred you can even slow it down um, we'll put this probably back to normal doesn't really matter change it however you want go to the tenth frame do the same thing insert new edit that change the X and the Y to zero but scale it up to like 500 change the opacity to like 150 maybe uh, you don't want to mirror this one but you can if you want to or rotate it but you can if you want to and change the the blend mode if you want to um, and now we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna tween and we're gonna do all the data all the sales so we can play it boom and now we've got like this the spinning sword of the background and overkill that comes up like that I actually want to let's see uh, maybe keep the blend mode the same like I did on this one. Boom. So once we've got that, what we're going to do is we're, go we're going to call it overkill. And um, you can add like some uh, sound effects that we just created, that, that you just added to your project and, and or other ones that you have in your game. Um, and you can also um, add flashes if you want. Really add whatever you want to it and edit this to your heart's content. Um, what I've done, you can see on the first frame I've added um, slash 10 so we paste that in there real quick so just add a slash 10 and make it a target flash red uh, on the frame frame 2 I've added the overkill sound effect so right here you're gonna be able to find your overkill sound effect if you add it to your SE folder so you can select that you can pitch shift it even more if you want and target flash you can edit that however you want and on the last one I've chosen an explosion but like I said you can edit that however you want and I put it on frame 8 and then when you play all together you get this boom one more thing we have to do so we're gonna take the number that we put this on so in my case 531 or 532 whatever number that is for you go back to the plugin go down to overkill bonus and now we're gonna edit this parameter in the plugin overkill animation change this number to the one you just created and now when you kill the enemies it'll play that animation uh, when you overkill and you could uh, refer to the help file to do even more crazier stuff with it make conditional drops if you're using uh, extra enemy drops plug-in but this is basically some free art that I've uh, art and audio that I've made for you guys to kind of and a little tutorial on how to make so that boom you get that overkill it's like a visual notification that the player is gonna get that extra bonus so hopefully you guys like this tutorial um, if you have any special requests, please put them in the comments. Um, there was one more cool thing I wanted to talk about. About the overkill thing here. Overkill. You can change all of these parameters right here. And even though it's a percent value, it's using it like a decimal. So uh, if you want it to be double, you don't put 200%. You just put 2, right? Because that's gonna. this is a multiplier. So if you want it to be no experience bonus, but, but just gold bonus, you set this to 1, which will be regular, like your ex regular experience times, uh, times 1, which will be like 100%. So you change this like that. Um, if you want it to be triple, you would just put 3. You could put 3.00, so that's like 300% of its normal value. Pretty simple, right? So I'm going to leave that at 2.00. The same thing applies for the, the gold flat rate bonus, and, and uh, or the gold rate and the, the drop rate, but then you have a flat, which is different. It's not like a percentage like that. Um, the, the, the flat bonus is just like an extra bit on top of it. So it says this is the ex bonus experience given out when the enemy is overkilled by a flat amount. So this isn't a percentage base. It's not going to multiply how much it would normally give. This is just going to add on top of it. So this is going to say if you overkill, you're guaranteed 50 experience plus 
plus whatever else it's worth. So you can add that number in here, and this isn't like, you, you don't put like 5.00, I mean you could, but you, you would want to make this like an integer value, not a float value. So you'd make it like, oh, you're gonna get an extra 100 experience bonus, flat bonus, on top of whatever multiplication you're adding. So this will either be zero for no uh, flat bonus, and the same thing with the gold, like say, if you overkill an enemy and you want it to always give 100 gold every time you overkill, you put 100 in here. And that means it's going to multiply it's the gold that normally gives, but it's also going to add 100 to it. So hopefully that makes sense. The, the parameters are pretty clear. Just make sure that you don't put like uh, 200 right here, or, or you're going to have it multiplied by 200 uh, times. So um, this is the small one that's more of a float value, and these are the integer values, the, the flat rate. So that's pretty much it. If you want to change the formula, uh, like what, how much HP, like say you want to change it so that you have to hit the enemy and deal, uh, you have to deal double its HP in order to overkill it. Well, then you would just change this to two times enemy dot max HP. So that's a simple way to go about doing that. But anyway, check out the help file. Check, get this plugin. I'll put a link in the description below to this plugin and a link in the description below to the Google file drive, uh, uh, Google Drive file rather that you can download. It's a very very small file and it's just got one sound effect that I made and one animation or one PNG file that I made. So those go in the sound effect folder and your uh, IMG animations folder. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. It wasn't really like a tutorial on how to use the plugin so much, but it, it sort of was a little bit, but it was more like here's some free resources I made for you guys that you can use and how to, to how to use them to make a cool little spinning sword and, and, and text pop up when you do your uh, overkill animation. So hopefully you guys like this quick tutorial. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any special requests, put them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for your uh, support on Patreon. That's why these tutorials are continuing. Every week we're going to get a new tutorial because of the Patreon backers. So thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I've got lots of RPG Maker Envy tutorials. And if you're into uh, Game Maker Studio 2, I'm doing those tutor tutorials as well now. And if you're interested in me playing your game, I do first impression videos. But please have people play test it or play test it yourself. Uh, deploy it. And play test the deployed version, right? And then upload that and then send me that uh, on Discord. So jump in the Discord. Links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!